What's Going On. It's Ask a Millennial. Gia. Courtney. So today we're actually going to talk about self-love and self-care. Yeah. Um, it's so easy to forget to take care of ourselves and so that's why we wanted to kind of come together and make this video today. Um, I think it's important because we get so busy in our lives. Um, and it's interesting when you get like, when you're a kid and you get a cut on your arm or your hand, you put a band-aid on it. You're taught to take care of it. But when it comes to like your mind, you're not taught to how to take care of your mind. So that's why we just want to come on today and share our feelings and what we think about self-care. Your physical, emotional, psychological, mental health is very important. It matters and it's valuable. And um, unfortunately, the way we're taught is like if it's not like something you can physically see being harmed or bleeding or wounded, it's not seen as being as serious. As, as serious. So a lot of times we um, pretty much dust mental health underneath the rug, even though that is a very big component of our everyday life. Yeah, so self-care, it literally is as straightforward as it sounds. It's doing anything, um, any activity that helps you mentally. Self-care is required care, and self-care looks different for everyone. Yes. Um, it doesn't have to be, you know, pampering yourself. It can be cleaning. Yeah. Like Gia. Gia, like, <laughs> I've seen her before. Okay. So it can be cleaning, it can be coloring, it can be drawing. It looks different for um, everyone. Mm -hmm. I like to play video games. Um, I like to sleep. Uh, edit videos, shoot videos, clean up the house, clean up the car. Um, I like to like, work out at night, listening to music. I don't know if it's really working out though, because I'm just dancing around and marching up and down the hallway. But it's a way for me to do my self care and, yeah. and, and to be at peace. So. Yeah, you guys deserve to be happy. So I think it's essential that you. I practice self-care for at least an hour every day. Now that may not work for you, that may be too much, that may be too little. And the thing about self-care is there's no like required time frame. You can practice self-care five times a day, you can practice self-care every other day. It doesn't matter. You can listen to your body and your mind and your soul. And if you need self-care, then you need to take it upon yourself to practice it. Yes. And there's nothing wrong with like taking time for self. There's nothing yes. wrong with having a breather or being emotional or crying. Because I mean, we're humans, that's a natural situation. It, it happens, especially in crisis and like the times that we're living in where every day, you know, there's injustices taking place and you're constantly being um, berated with it. I mean, all over social media, no matter where you turn, you're seeing it. And of course it's gonna happen, but you also need to realize you don't have to sit up and be alone and always down and out or depressed about it. You deserve a mental health check day. Mm -hmm. so. Mental hygiene, please practice it. Um, Self-care is required for any healing process. So not even emotion, not just emotional, physical traumas and emotional traumas. Um, but for what I do for self-care, um, I'm actually a survivor of severe clinical depression, so self-care has to be a part of my daily routine or I will quickly relapse. Um, I hang out with friends because what caused my depression was being lonely. So hanging out with friends is definitely helpful. Um, I like to write poetry. I, I also like to clean, which is really weird. Cleaning is so like, calming and comforting. And also, um, when I seen a therapist, I used to have bad anxiety, and she said when you have really bad anxiety, just sit down and color or draw. So I went out and bought a um, cheap coloring book, or um, not a coloring book, but a um, pad that you can just free, free draw on, and then some colored pencils, and now I have like a book full of just little pretty drawings. So that's what I do for self-care, and like we said earlier, self-care um, doesn't look the same for everyone. It's different. It doesn't have to be, you know, literally pampering your skin, or it can be just, you know, just whatever. Taking a walk, yeah. listening to music. Whatever makes you feel good. And another thing that I wanted to address is social media. So often, when we see people on Facebook, like our Facebook friends are posting, 
things that we generally don't agree with or things that make us upset. Delete. Delete them. Block yeah. our friend. Oh. It's like, once again, you get to literally pick who's on your on, on your timeline, who's on your friend list. You get to choose that. And like me recently, I just started uh, deleting and blocking folks because it's like there's no need for me to see yeah. constant drama and unnecessary stuff that I don't agree with. So you can literally block that out of your social media page. You don't have to see it if you don't want yeah, to. Yeah, social media is one of the very few places where we can't control what we see and what opinions we hear. So if, like Gia said, if you're not, if you're not vibing with what someone is saying, delete them. It doesn't matter. It doesn't mean that you can't handle other opinions. It just means that you created this social media um, account for, for your, your for you and your own pleasure. You don't have to subject yourself to yeah. idiotic people, statements, erroneous facts, whatever. You don't have to subject yourself to that. You don't. Oh, the message behind this entire video is really finding your happy place, you know, getting that self-care, taking time out for yourself. Cry a little, read a little, enjoy life. Everything isn't gonna always work out. Everything you see is not gonna always be pleasant. And there's nothing wrong with having a uh, mental health check day and just relaxing and enjoying yourself and getting some peace and quiet or whatever you need to take care of yourself and your mental and um, emotional well-being. Yeah, so just take care of yourself, please. I'm telling you what to do, take care of yourself. <laughs> So often we forget to do that and a lot of times we take better care of other people than we do ourselves and it's important to remember that the, at the end of the day, you, your soul, your mind, and your body are all that you have to rely on. Exactly. Um, if you would like any other you know, tips, hints, or if you want us to discuss certain topics, uh, leave comments below. Hit us up on Twitter at... Ask a Millennial. Yeah, and like us on Facebook. Yes, please. <laughs> have like 34 people. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Until next time. Ask a millennial. Ask a millennial.